जय हिंद एवरी वन माई नेम इज आशीष कुमार एंड आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग एंड द कॉलेज इज अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट वेबसाइट एंड बेसिक एस टी एम एल एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज वेब डिजाइनिंग सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन सो दीज आर दी content which i am going to discuss with you that is what is websites second one is the component of website third how it works then language and tool requirements and the last one is an introduction to html firstly we have to discuss what is website so basically website is collection of web pages located under a single domain name and publish on at least one web server so when we designing a website firstly we have to collect the web pages right so and these web pages are interconnected through the link called as a hyperlink okay so collection of web pages so firstly we have to understand what is web page that is what is web page right so web page is designed by the html and html stands for what hypertext markup language so through the markup text we have to design a particular web page so when we designing the uh, major website so we have to collect these web pages and these web pages are interrelated to each other through the hyperlink when the website is created after that then we have to provide the name for a this for that particular website uh, and the name called as a domain name so basically domain name is what what do you mean by the domain name so domain name is just nothing it is a location of website through which you can access the website onto the internet so domain name we will discuss later on what is the domain after providing the domain name for a website we have to publish the website on a internet called as a web server understood okay the next point is it is a group of world wide web pages usually containing hyperlinks to each other as i already told you it is a interconnected web pages through the hyperlink okay and made available online that means uh, your website is available on the internet okay by an individual company because website uh, there are different types of website uh, the purpose of website either for for individual for company purpose for educational ins institutions government or organization for uh, take an examples like suppose facebook facebook dot com like ticket www dot facebook dot com so this particular website uh, uh, from the uh, social side similarly like www aktu dot edu dot in so this website belonging to the educational purpose similarly for government purpose there are different government website so when we designing the website so firstly we have to identify uh, how you can create the website and what purpose for this uh, that particular website okay next next one is the component so major majorly basically we have a three basic components called as a domain hosting and cms that is content management system when you designing the website so there are mainly when you designing the website firstly we have to understand what is the planning what is the purpose of developing a website so designing purpose for we have to mention these four features okay first one is the analytics feature then branding of your website the content it is the most important feature for pro, for your uh, website then last one is the marketing of a particular website for this purpose for this uh, features 
परस्पेक्टिव पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी हैव अ बेसिक कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ अ वेबसाइट तो फर्स्ट वन इज द डोमेन देन होस्टिंग एंड द लास्ट वन इज द सी एम एस दैट इज कंटेंट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो डोमेन इट इज द यू आर एल यूज टू फाइंड योर साइट ऑनलाइन ठीक है सो डोमेन नेम इज दैट कि लाइक प्रोवाइडिंग अ नेम इट इज इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड द नेम rather than the ip address basically on the internet website is identified by the ip address like 192.1.1.0 so this type of strings are complex for the user so we have to identify the website for a domain name for an example like google dot com so it is easily to understand because it is written in the english language it is easy to convenient so user can uh, identify by the google.com if i am talking about the ip address of this particular google.com that is 8.8.8.8 so this is this ip address belonging to this particular google.com so domain name provided to the website and user enters the this particular domain name in the url and url stands for uniform resource locator okay then second one is the hosting when you develop your website and providing the domain name then last stage stage is to publish your website onto the internet so there are different types of hoster are available in the market for an example like godaddy hostinger blue hoster so this type of hosters provides the online services for your particular website and it also provide a physical space right physical space means provide a uh, uh, provide a storage okay so where your website files are stored okay so hoster different types of hosters are available you have to purchase uh, or pro, uh, um, by paying the rent for particular like 6 uh, months or uh, in a year so that these hosters provide the online services for your website like 24 by 7 availability of website for providing the backup for providing the secure security so the different types of hostingers like godaddy bluehost okay so these hosters provide the online services for your particular website then sec last one is the cms cms stands for what content management system so it says that what you use to edit update your site without coding so basically in this content management system it provide to uh, uh, you have to edit you have to update your data on a particular uh, on your website without using the coding part right then we have to discuss how actual the website work on the internet so firstly we have to understand this terminology called the web browser so web browser understood like a google chrome mozilla firefox safari so these are the web browser that work on the client side client side means particular this is of your system like hai na this is your system on your system we have a different types of browser uh, like google chrome safari opera mozilla firefox hai na so through the web browser we have to firstly we have to develop the web page and the collection of web page called as a website so through the front end basically website uh, design on to the front end okay so uh, when the user want to access the website so through the browser user can access the your website and the website is loaded into the front end on to the browser like chrome so we have a structure like this is your client and this is your server 
सो क्लाइंट साइड सपोज हेयर यूजर ए ए वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस दी वेबसाइट कॉल्ड एज आ गूगल डॉट कॉम सो यूजर ए एंटर्स दी गूगल डॉट कॉम इन दी यू आर एल सो इट इज रिक्वेस्टिंग फॉर दिस पर्टिक्युलर वेबसाइट कॉल्ड एज अ गूगल डॉट कॉम सो इट इज रिक्वेस्टिंग टू द वेब सर्वर ओके सो through the web server requesting goes to the different physical server that is present on to the, on to the internet okay so your request is going through the web server or through the web server your request goes to the back end where actual the present of your website where the uh, data about the website is present so through the web server your request is going to the application application server then we have to divide the application server into two categories called as a data access then the business logic then further it is divided uh, divided into the data layer called as a database server or b2b that is business to business so here is your google.com is present here database server right so when the request is reaching to the server server respond for this particular request and send the data to the client okay so as you can see here this is the bidirectional so when the request is comes from the front end to the back end and the back end responds to the request and it uh, it's also comes from back end to the front end so user request is fulfilled by the this particular server so actually this uh, website it is the working model of your website right then this is the client server archi architecture as i discussed client server so here is the web application architecture here is the user so user uh, requesting through the front end so your request is going to the web server here like th these are the user okay so user request through the front end front end means your through the website and website is des uh, designed by the different tools called as a like html css gss we will discuss later on on this terminology so your request is going from front end here is the web server contains app logic like php javascript python and here is the back end that is file system and database so database respondent through the web server and the response is comes from this particular web servers to this user okay now for developing a good website we have to use different type of languages and tools for website creation then first one is the html html stands for what hypertext markup language then css css stands for cascading style sheet and the last one is the js and the important tool for developing the website so html5 represent the it is the version 5 latest version 5 css latest version uh, 3 and jss js it is also a uh, uh, tool for developing a website and js work on both end that is front end as well as back end so through the html we have to develop the only a structure of your website so through the html like as you can see here this is a skeleton so it is a just structure it provide the basic structure about your web page through the css we have to modify beautify you know beautify the html elements so in html there are different multiple elements markup tags so through the css we have to beautify those tags okay 
or through the GS, we have to provide the functionality, we have to provide the uh, content behavior through the GS, logics. Basically, through the GS, we have to provide the logics on your website. Understood? Now, talk about the HTML. So, HTML is the language used to create and organize a web pages. It is a markup language. So, it is not a programming language. HTML is a markup language because in HTML, we have to use the multiple different markup tags for creating the structure of your particular website. I will just show you how we can create the basic structure of an HTML. So, markup language means you use HTML to simply markup, right? A text document with a text, text, different types of text. For an example, like I am using the H1 tag. So, H1 tag belonging to the heading tag, right? Similarly, like P tag. So, P tag belonging to the paragraph. Uh, in your particular web page, you have to provide the paragraph. So, through the para, uh, through the P tag, you have to implement the paragraph, right? Similarly, different multiple tags are available, okay? So, it was developed with the intent of defining the structure of document. As you can see here, through the HTML, we have to defining the basic structure of your document like a heading as you can see here heading paragraph paragraph list so if, if i am talking about the list so in html we have a three basic types of list as a like ordered list unordered list or description list so mainly we have to work on this major two types of list called as a ordered list or as a unordered list and so forth to facilitate the sharing of scientific information between the researcher. So, mainly HTML widely used to format web pages with the help of different tags available in the HTML language. So, in HTML, we have to uh, already predefined tags through which we can create the basic structure about the web page, okay? So, it is a standard markup language, it is a hypertext markup language, it describes the structure of a web page, basic structure, it consists of a series of element, different uh, series of element in, uh, include like text string, like a paragraph, okay? uh, like a, uh, different font families, okay? So, it element, uh, basic HTML element tells the browser how to display the content on the particular browser. So, HTML elements are represented by tags. For an example, like HTML, I will just discuss basic structure about the uh, HTML. So, this tag, HTML is a tag. Similarly, head. It is a tag like title. Title means you have to provide the title of your web page, right? So, these tags label pieces of content such as heading, paragraph, table and so on. Browser do not display the HTML tags, but use of them to render the content of the pages. Important point because Browser do not display the HTML text. Through the HTML tag, whatever you have to write uh, in, in this particular tag, through the these through, through these tags, we have to render them and displaying the as a result. I will just show you later on. Okay. So, these are the different versions of an HTML, many versions of HTML. First version comes in 1991. HTML second version in 1995, then later on 1997, then 1999, then 2000 and XHTML stands for extensible 
हाइपर टेक्स्ट मार्कअप लैंग्वेज सो इट इज अ क्रॉस प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज बिटवीन द एस टी एम एल एंड एक्स एक्स एम एल सो इट इज अक्सटेसिमल एच टी एम एल इन टू थाउजेंड लेटर ऑन लेटेस्ट वर्जन इज एच टी एम एल वर्जन फाइव विच कम्स इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन ओके सो नाउ एज यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज द बेसिक एच टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट इन विच आई जस्ट डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट how these structure is uh, like providing this structure okay so first one is the doc type html here is the html tag so this 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 these are the basic tag for providing the structure of your website as an example html head title h1 h1 tag is used for the providing the heading paragraph tag is used for providing the document ya paragraph in your web page okay so it describe structure using two main section called as a head and body so basic structure provided through the main two sections called as a head and body so doc type it is a declaration must be specify on the first line of each web page it tells the web browser which version of html the page is written in and uh, another remaining elements as a html element it is the root element of an html page then head section it contains the meta information about the document then title it specify the title for your particular web page then the body section whatever you written in the body section it display on your web, web browser so body elements contains the visible page content like h1 that is define the heading and the heading is the large heading so basically we have a six types of heading from h1 to the h6 h1 defines a large heading and h6 define a small heading and h1 is 10 large heading so paragraph element defines the paragraph okay immediately following the doc type declaration is the html element so html language e yeah. lang stands for language or en stands for english so html element tells the browser that the page will be formatted in html and optionally which world language the page content is in so if our web if our page in uh, language other than english en we would change the two letter code to the appropriate language code okay here is the example regarding the head and body element as you can see here this is the head section so head section uh, uh, in this head section we have to provide the metadata about the particular web page okay then body it surrounds all the actual content okay in the body section we have to provide the actual content uh, like text images audio video different types of links that will be display on our web page okay so meta about the meta elements so meta element provide information about the document to browsers and search engines search engines like a google so google is a search engine so meta element provide the information about the document to browser and search engine okay and utf8 it is the character set it is the dominant choice for documents on the internet we will use it for all our web pages then next one is the title as i already told you title means it place within the head section or it provide the unique title for your web page okay like suppose in title we have to write my first web 
पेज सो थ्रू द इन दिस दिस कंटेंट इज अवेलेबल ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टैब लाइक माय फर्स्ट वेब पेज तो हियर इज द माय फर्स्ट वेब पेज एज यू कैन सी हियर द रिटर्न इज द पेज टाइटल गोज हियर सो पेज टाइटल इज डिस्प्ले ऑन योर ब्राउजर if i'm talking about the different tags so mainly tags categorized into two ways first one is the opening and the closing tag so in html there are variety of opening tags as well as the closing tag so if i'm talking about the html as you can see here this uh, in green box html this is the opening tag head red box represent the it is a closing tag so head in green box represent the opening similarly meta and title these tag also are the opening tags and the body is this is the opening tag and or this is the closing about the body so overall conclusion is that html head meta title body so these are these are belonging into the closing tags okay if i'm talking about the uh, opening tag without closing tag so like br okay this is not a closing tag this is a simple ek op opening tag so i'll just show you how we have to providing the basic structure of a element so through the visual studio it is just a framework i am using this tool for developing a particular website so firstly we have to understand how we can create a basic structure so firstly we have to uh, provide the name like basic.html extension is the html i am just writing here the code basic structure about so as you can see here this is the basic structure i am just writing the title like my first web page okay inside the body section i am using the heading like h1 like suppose this is this is large heading okay so first one through the heading tag i am providing the content like this is a large heading second one is the paragraph in paragraph for providing the dummy paragraph using the keyword lorem so through the lorem you can provide the dummy paragraph okay so now when we render this particular code as you can see here okay so in this particular browser only visible portion inside the body section so inside the body section whatever we have to written it is display on your web browser so in the body section we defining two tags first one is the heading tag and the second one is the paragraph tag okay so para, uh, heading this is a large heading and through the paragraph tag we have providing the dummy paragraph okay so overall summary is in this tutorial we learn about basic concept regarding website how we create the website and what are the skill and techniques required for creation of website then learn about basic html and its element stack like head like body like title or different markup tags like paragraph or heading so this is all about the basic structure in html don't forget the like and subscribe this channel thank you